All right, everyone. Well, welcome to the Vectric walkthrough for the CNC box joint gadget video. We'll go to Vectric's website and navigate to Vectric community and scroll down to gadgets. On the gadget page, we'll go to the gadget library and then scroll down to toolpath gadgets. There we'll find the box creator. I'll download and install the gadget. Now we'll go to our job setup and set up our material. I'll enter 48 by 24 inches and a half inch thick. Be sure that you have an accurate thickness of your material as it will affect the joint snugness. For this, I'll zero to the spoil board surface. On our top bar, I'll navigate to the gadgets tab and click on box creator. It will open this window and it's pretty simple from here. I can enter in the exterior dimensions of my box, as well as the joint width and any additional allowance. You can select if you'd like it to have a lid or remove any side. I'll uncheck make lid, so there will be no box joints on top. Next, we'll select our tool and I'll use an eighth inch bit, so the dog bone corner reliefs will be relatively unnoticeable. If you chose to include a lid, you can select if you'd like it to be a flat lid or have tabs. Now we can select our joint type, box or dovetails. Both are excellent choices, but note that since it's an imported toolpath, the way that the dovetail joints are created pose some limitations that we'll go over in a minute. After you're happy with these settings, click OK. If we zoom in, you can see the dog bone corner reliefs on the joints. The profile toolpath for this box joint toolpath, I can go in, edit the settings, and add tabs. Once you're happy with this, you can export your G-code. Next, let's go over the dovetail joints in the box creator. We'll use the same settings, though this time we'll select dovetail joints. This looks good. If we zoom in, you can see uh, when we run the dovetail toolpath, we'll get a slight bevel on the edges of the joint. The only issue with the dovetail joints is that since this is an imported toolpath, you cannot rearrange the parts. To work around this, change the X and Y dimensions of your material to limit the space the calculator can place the parts into to achieve optimal nesting. All right, so that's it for our pro tip video today. Thanks everyone for watching and we'll see you in the shop. Can't wait to see what you make.